dance beam sensor captures this data in terms of angles. Important features of backswing, backlift, downswing, and forward. Downswing is measured from top of backlift through to impact. When we look at follow through, we measure from impact to the furthest point of the follow through. So if impact is at naught, follow through to here becomes 90 degrees. Bat direction at start of downswing is the position of the bat when we start to move the bat towards the ball. If the bat's in this position, the downswing angle would be zero. If it's in this position, the downswing angle would be about 40 degrees. The downswing angle varies from player to player and from shot to shot. What we're looking for is consistency of position at the start of our downswing for the appropriate shot. Bat speed is a very important metric with stand speed. It measures the maximum speed the swing of the bat gets to, and then it measures the impact speed also. With bat speed, for an attacking shot, we want the maximum speed to be at impact without decelerating the bat. It's very important to find the optimum bat speed and impact speed for each player. Bat speed, different heights of backswing, backlift, can influence the maximum speed that a batter needs to be able to generate. A higher bat speed means that a batsman gets more time to make a decision on which shot to play. A slow bat speed means that a batsman must commit to a shot a lot sooner. Power factor is a metric that measures the power of the bat at the sweet spot at impact, and that takes into account bat speed and the weight of the bat that you were using. Power factor is a very useful metric when we're doing power hitting sessions and hitting sixes sessions. Our shot efficiency metric is very simple. It's how close the maximum bat speed is to the impact speed. If we swing at 40 k's an hour max bat speed, but we hit the ball at 30, then the shot efficiency will be around 75%. The time to impact metric is the time it takes from the start of the downswing to impact. 